Oh. Hello guys, Isis Priestess again. My final... Well, not exactly my final video. I gotta do my Back to Basics video. So. Um... Oh... I kinda didn't want to do this video because... It's been talked about and everything, and I just, oh, I just, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do this video because it's a dead horse, literally, and all that. So, people that have been following the news and stuff down in Florida, home of people that don't know how to do their job correctly, um... And trust me, I lived in Florida for seven years, so I know, <laughs> I know these things. Uh, Pensacola, Florida, there was these three people that were found dead in their home, and the sheriff's officer went and said that, or the spokesman for the, what, whatever he was, I think it was, I think he was the sheriff, um, had said that that this was a Wicca ritual killing and that it was to coincide with the blue moon and all this other, pardon my French, all this other bullshit. When the medical examiner came out and said they died a couple days before the blue moon, I think, I think, yeah, you know, she said, here she said that they died on Tuesday, which totally blows the whole blue moon idea out of water. I'm going to try not to make this a long video, but I do have a lot of stuff I want to talk about in this video, and I don't want to go in 15 minutes. I'm really seriously thinking about expanding so I can do longer videos, because sometimes I'm going to have a lot to say, and people don't want to see videos in parts. They want the whole shebang. So... So first and foremost, if this nincompoop that calls himself a sheriff had even done any research on Wicca, he would find that Wiccans do not practice in ritual killing. But he didn't. He used his own personal bias and his own personal bigotry to paint Wiccans as ritual murderers. And now apparently they're backtracking. Like really, really, if you're if if you so strongly believe that Wiccans do ritual murder, then why don't you stick to a tradition statement? The thing the thing is it's so much easier to say, oh, this is related to, um, to Wicca and all this stuff, than to come to the conclusion that there is a psycho that knew them and, or knew them, yeah, knew them, and decided, oh, I'm going to kill them. I am going to say something. I was watching this there's a channel on YouTube called, called WatchMojo.com and there was a video entitled Movies That Inspired basically inspired people to kill and weirdly enough one of the movies that was actually on the list was Ghostbusters I'm thinking, what? <laughs> How could Ghostbusters uh, inspire someone to kill someone? So. I, I, I'm still confusing today. The thing about the thing about when you go and you um, when you go and you say that Wiccan uh, that a Wiccan killed someone, there's there's a lot of people out there that are terrified of the religion of Wicca. Um, there are parents that are against Wicca. There are churches that are against Wicca. They don't, ouch, they don't, even though I just hit my foot on my chair, like, 
they don't care it's a religion. They don't care that people who practice it are protecting the First Amendment. They absolutely fear what they do not understand. And when you have a sheriff down in Florida, what I call Hicksville, um, that uses the word Wicca and witchcraft and in the, in the same uh, sentence as a as a, um, a, a ritualistic murder um, is going to cause problems and it already has. Uh, prime example, a very prime example, Christian Day. Um, most people know him. He, he uses the title Warlock and stuff like that. He had a uh, he has a, a an event called Hex Fest that happens. I, I yeah I believe it was I, I believe it's in. Anyways, it 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 happens. Um, I was trying to remember when it takes place, but anyways, he got a call from um the company that he deals with. Hexfest saying that that the riverboat that he goes with is dropping Hexfest. They're not going to allow Hexfest on their boat on their ship. And he believes it is because of the of the triple homicide. Luckily he got on the Creole Queen which I was really glad that he didn't have to cancel it and refund all that money. The thing that he said, and he, when he said this, I'm thinking, yeah, that is probably why. He believes that it's because of the, um, the triple homicide. That the owner of the boat got or got concerned or whatever, but still, still, it is denying service. And the thing is, it now it's based on religion. It's not based on sexual orientation or on color or on national origin or whatever. It's based on religion. And that's wrong. The Civil, the Civil Rights Act specifically put um, religion, and it expanded, it expanded to you know, race and, and all that, and gender, you know, things like that. So when you have a boat owner saying, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to have it because of religious reasons, and this trouble murder happened, it's connected to each other. So now he has to sue. And suing someone is never pretty. I, I, it's just, it's never pretty. Because it can turn um, very, very, very nasty very, very quickly. So I just, um, just check my time. I just really kind of shake my head at the whole thing. I really do. It's it's stupid. Um, you know, what can I say? It's stupid. Um, Wiccans do not do ritual murder. Psycho nuts do. <laughs> to ritual murder. They just do murder, period. I think I think every murder, I think, in the eyes of Stone Kill is a ritual or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say on the subject. Um, your thoughts, I really would like to hear from you guys. Um, yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great, great, great um, day, and I will see you guys in a little bit for my Back to Basics, which will be a pre-recorded video that I will be um, uploading 
on or turn it back. I'll probably I'll probably upload all these videos on the same day. <laughs> on the same day. I just remembered brothers in this bedroom. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. And bless you be.